going to start talking about the scary stuff now. Here with her top horror movie picks to get you in the mood for Halloween is Etox Shannon Burns. Hey, Shannon. Hi. How's it going? Uh, so glad to be here. I'm just going to say welcome to the good stuff or the scary stuff today. Thank you so much. I'm such a fan of the show. Oh, so my gosh. This is the best. Oh, you're just the nicest. We, we pass each other in the halls a lot. All Always right. a delight. Hi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm excited because you're going to rate some horror movies yes. based on how scary they are, based on our scarometer from zero to ten. Zero being the least scary, ten being the most scary. Now, before we get into it, are you a fan of scary movies? I never was growing up, but mm. more recently, I'm really starting to get into oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just feel like horror movies have just gotten better over time. Yeah. And there's like more of genres within the horror movie genre. So. True, it's not just like jump scare all the time exactly. or monsters all the time. Yes, yeah, so mm. they're great. Okay, let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with a movie called The Substance. Let's watch the trailer. One single injection unlocks your DNA and will release another version of yourself. Okay, so why is this movie on your list? Okay, so the Demi Moore and Margaret Qualley are getting so much praise just mm -hmm. for their roles in this movie. Mm -hmm. um, this is really a body horror type of film, so this isn't the type of movie that you want to go and see on an empty stomach. Okay, got or it. Or on a full stomach. Yes, you want a mid-stomach. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, because it is just that terrifying, you're going to be covering your eyes a lot. Yeah. Um, but their acting is so great, it deals with a storyline of like anti-aging and the uh, going for eternal youth and oh. things like that. So very good storyline, very good premise, great acting. So okay. overall, very great. Very good. Now, where are we putting this on the scarometer? We're giving this a nine out of ten. Oh, nine! Uh, okay, very spooky. I like this one. It feels very kind of like, ooh, yeah. thinky. Exactly. Thinky, scary movie. <laughs> All right, now, uh, next up, we are talking one that's a little bit of a throwback into the world of Beetle, be Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Let's take a look. I almost said it three times. When I was this teenager, a trickster demon terrorized our entire family and tried to force me to marry him. I believed he was gone forever until you found this in the attic. On a good Halloween watch. So this is a movie that we're all familiar with. The mm. original came out 30 years ago. Wild. So crazy. Mm. So what's great about this one is that there's a lot of returning uh, uh, original cast members. Mm. Winona Ryder, Michael Keaton, Catherine O'Hara, yeah. which is really great. Um, so it really has that nostalgia value, but it also adds something new with Jenna Ortega being in there. Yeah. And it gives a whole new premise. So many people are already Google searching Beetlejuice costumes for this year, so I'm so mm. glad it's back. Honestly, I am too. I saw the first Beetlejuice, and it is, it's a little spooky. Yeah. My sister-in-law terrified, because I think she saw it a little too young. Um, what would you rate this on the scarometer? This one's gonna be an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Okay, I like that. I like that. This is definitely on my list for sure. For sure. Okay, now next up, we are talking about the movie Long Legs. Never heard of it, so let's check out the trailer. The letter was left with the bodies. We have ten letters like it over the past 30 years. And all in sign of one word. Long legs. Oh, that looks, that looks suspenseful. Okay, tell me about this movie. Yeah, so this one is more of like a psychological thriller, and it's about a CIA agent, and she has to put together all these clues to stop this serial killer mm -hmm. from continuing his killings. And the really spooky guy in this movie is played by Nicolas Cage. Oh, so spooky. Yeah, he can play the spookiest. Yes. So this has been getting a lot of hype, one of the most talked about movies this year. Okay. So we're giving this one an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10. Okay, cool. I am feeling very good on the scarometer about that one. Honestly, that one is definitely now top of my list. I'm yeah. feeling really good about it. Got Shannon, you. this has been such a slice. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you so much. So hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.